One hot day, the little breeze moped about by himself, bored and grumpy. His friend, Ronnie Raindrop, was hiding under the trees, trying to keep cool. His brothers, the big winds, were off making a storm across the sea. His cousins, Freddy Frost and Sophie Snowflake, didn't like the hot weather at all and were away on holiday in Alaska. Even his neighbour, Molly Mist, had been chased away by the sun and had decided to visit some more of her foggy family in the misty mountains of Ireland. What can I do? cried the little breeze. Then, above his head, he suddenly heard a funny noise. Squeak! Squeak! It went. Squeak! Squeak! The little breeze looked up. There was no one there, only the roof of a house with tall chimneys. But that day not even they had anything to do because no one lights fires on hot days. The little breeze was puzzled. The noise came again. Squeak! Squeak! Now the sound was louder, and suddenly the little breeze realised that the squeaking was coming from the weather vane on the very top of the roof, and up he went to have a look. Hello, Mr Weather Vane, he said cheerily, pleased to have someone to talk to. The weather vane looked very huffy. My name is actually Cuckoo the Cockerel, he declared loftily, and what, may I ask, are you cockerel doing up here? I'm the only one allowed on this roof, you know. I heard some squeaking, Little Breeze told him, and um, I just came up to find out what it was. Well, said Coco irritably, there's no wind to give me some exercise by whizzing me round and round, and this eat is making me very itchy and uncomfortable. So if you heard squeaking, it was only me complaining to myself and wishing the sun would go away and the wind would come back to keep me happy. The little breeze was very sympathetic. Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not a very big wind yet and I can't blow very hard, but maybe I could try to help you. <laughs> Ooh, scoffed Coco the Cockerel. What could a little thing like you, Cockerel, do? I need lots of wind to turn me round. Well, at least let me try, begged Little Breeze, and I promise I'll blow very hard. So the Little Breeze gathered all his strength, swelled across the roof as fast as he could, and blew and blew till he hadn't a whisper of breath left. Not a thing happened. Coco the cockerel was motionless. See, I told you you wouldn't be able to cockerel do it. Coco shouted at the downcast little breeze. You're far too small. And he began squeaking again very crossly. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The little breeze sank to the ground, very humiliated. But just then he saw a cloud beginning to move across the sky. Pushing it gently along for practice was one of his big brothers, newly returned from making a hurricane in America. Hey, Walter Wind, shouted Little Breeze as loudly as he could. Can you give me a hand, please? With one huge whoosh, Walter Wind zoomed down to join his little brother, nearly blowing him over a wall as he did so. <laughs> Sorry about that, breezed Walter. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Now then, young fella, what can I do for you? Well, gasped the little breeze, still trying to get his breath back. Coco the cockerel up there needs some wind to whiz him round. He says I can't blow hard enough. Could you help me? <laughs> of course I can, assured the friendly big wind. Let's do it together and we'll soon show them how strong you are. So up they went to the roof, the little breeze hanging onto Walter Wind as tightly as he could. And with one enormous rush, they flew towards the weather vane. Not only did Coco start to turn in the huge gust that they made, but he flew round so fast he got completely dizzy and with a frightened go 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 he fell right off his perch. <laughs> That'll teach him to be rude to you, roared Walter Wind, dropping the little breeze gently back in the ground. It'll be a while before he can cock-a-doodle do his work again and serve him right too. And off he flew back among the clouds to have more fun. Bye, Walter, 
shouted the little breeze after him. And thanks! Hope I blow up to be as big and strong a wind as you one day. Bye! <laughs>